Hi everyone, in this video I'll walk you through all the essential steps to make sure you'll get the most out of Rank Active. I'll briefly explain how to set up a project and use every product and feature that Rank Active has to offer. But before we get to the complicated part, we need to set up a project. Here you're supposed to enter the domain name of a website you want to track and the name of your first project. At the second stage of the project setup, you should choose what to track and where to track it. Select a tracking mode, add search engines and upload keywords. Last but not least, you can connect data from your Google Analytics account. Then, as you figured out what's going on with the website in general, it's time for keyword research. Click on the Keyword Finder icon in the menu on the left. Keyword Finder can be used to search for related, similar and ranked keywords, as well as Keyword Suggestions and AdWords Keywords Planner, with each of them having its own data source and algorithm. Let's take Rank Keywords, for example. This feature allows finding keywords that any website is ranking for. Let's get to the Rank Keywords section and try it out with example.com domain. Now we can apply filter to filter out keywords by positions. Let's focus on keywords in top 30. Now, when we have our keywords, let's add them to Rank Tracker. Tick the box on the top of the table and select Add to Rank Tracker in the drop down menu. You can also enrich your list of keywords ideas by using other features of Keyword Finder. For example, with the related keywords, you can find LSI terms from Google related search. Suggested keywords, on the other hand, will help you out with getting keywords from Google Autocomplete. Let's dwell more about that one. Select your search engine from the drop-down menu and enter a keyword that you want to get keyword ideas for. Let's try it out with sample website. Here we have a list of keyword suggestions with the relevant score. You can add keywords from the list directly to the rank tracker or group them in the sandbox. Let's select the three most relevant keywords and add them to the sandbox. We need to create a new group of keywords in the sandbox. Let's call it sample. Hit enter after you come up with the proper name and click add. Then head straight to the sandbox. Here we see our group of keywords. From within the sandbox you can edit keywords or move them up to the rank tracker. Now, when we have keywords added to the rank tracker, we can check our website's rankings. But first, let's take a look at the dashboard. At the dashboard, you can see all major online metrics of your website, including keyword rankings overview, estimated traffic value, and traffic overview. But only if you have Google Analytics data connected to your Google Renactive account. 
To get more details about your website rankings, head straight to the Rank Tracker. All the general information about rankings is accessible from within the Ranking Overview tab. Here you have estimated traffic value for all your keywords, estimated online visibility of your website, ranked pages, keyword changes, average keyword positions, ranked keywords, and so on and so forth. As well as all positions that your keywords hold on search engine results pages. You can also select a search engine and a time frame on the top of the page. Also, at the very bottom of the Ranking Overview page, you can see performance charts that illustrate the dynamics of changes for various parameters, such as top changes, Visibility dynamics, average position dynamics, top changes, estimated traffic changes, rank keywords changes and ranking pages dynamics. Then, at the detailed view section, there's everything you need to know about particular keywords of your website. Take a look at the table. Here you have keywords, along with their search volume, estimated traffic that can be brought by a keyword and changes of keyword positions. There is even more information under the column chooser button. As you see there is relevant URL, the date when it was added to the project, competition, cost per click, keyword efficiency index, traffic cost, total results, sub elements, tags and keyword dynamics. Let's drag the relevant URL tab and drop it to the table. If you want to group a table by one of the columns, just place it to the top of the table. Let's group the table by a relevant URL. Now let's click on one of the URLs, our main page for example. Here's a list of keywords that it's ranking for with all the essential keyword metrics. You may also want to export the data. To do that, just click on the export button at the top of the table. OK, I think now you get the idea. Rank Tracker has other features that you can explore yourself. Check our help center or drop a line to our customer support team if you have any questions. Now, when you see what rankings your website has, it's time to analyze SERPs and see what websites are outranking you. You can easily do that with Renactive Stop Analyzer. So, in order to start using Top Analyzer, you first need to select a search engine and a keyword. Note that you can't select keywords that you didn't add to Rank Tracker beforehand, but you can easily fix it in the Rank Tracker settings. Another way to go is to select a custom page to compare it against the competition. So, here we have a list of websites that are ranking for our keyword, along with some information that can explain why they rank where they rank, such as keyword count, backlinks and so on. As always, there is more data hidden in the column chooser. As you see, Webopedia.com is ranking second to our website. Let's get more information about it using Competitors Inspector. First things first, you'd need to add competitors to the Competitors Inspector. To do that, head to the settings. Let's add a website that we spotted earlier in Top Analyzer.
Now you can compare your website's traffic, rankings, visibility, keywords, and backlinks against those of your competitors. Renactive helps you monitor not only off-page SEO parameters, but also on-page ones. To analyze on-site factors that may influence your website's rankings, head to Site Auditor. Here you have all viable parameters broken down into sections, such as scanned pages, meta tags, content, invalid images tags, response code checker, page parameters, and overall website checkup. You may also want to modify the crawling parameters using Site Auditor settings. Let's take a closer look at the Overview section. You can see all the information at a glance and navigate all errors and warnings. Let's check pages with empty descriptions, for example. Here we have information about the location of the page with an empty description as well as all the details about this page. And, as always, there is even more information available under the column chooser. You can always explore all the functionality of the site auditor yourself. There is really a lot of useful information out there. You can ask any questions to our customer support team. Those folks are available 24-7 and will be happy to provide you with a thoughtful answer. Now, when you have a complete picture of Renactive's products, you can move on to customizing the platform with our white label feature. To set up white label, go to the profile menu and select white label. Here you can enter your domain name, title, description, at favicon icon and logo. It's also worth mentioning that you can customize a landing page URL so that your clients will be redirected to your website after logging out of the system. Yet another feature of Renactive's white label is the ability to use your own email server for sending out reports. The process is pretty straightforward and doesn't require any technical expertise. After setting up white label, it's time to take care of reports and notifications. Let's start with reports. Although scheduling reports at Renactive may seem a bit overwhelming at first, the process is really easy and straightforward. Click on Create new scheduled report button, enter a report name, select what information you want to get to your report, there is Ranking, Analytics and Site Auditor data available. Let's say I want to receive information from Rank Tracker and Site Auditor. Now we need to choose the reporting period. Let's say I want to receive reports on Fridays at 9 in the morning. You can also attach a detailed report to every email in either PDF or Excel format. Let's select PDF for this one. There's also a possibility to add recipients for your report, so you can get it sent out to your colleagues or clients. Then click Save to schedule a report. As you see, my report was added to the reports dashboard, where I can add it or remove it if I want to. There is yet another way to get notified about the changes in your project. You can use Notification Manager. The main purpose of this feature is to get you notified about sudden changes in your project. It's also fully customizable, so you can adjust triggers to your own needs. Let's create a new trigger. Now the first part is identical to that of the reports feature. Name your trigger. 
choose the time period and add recipients if you need to. Then you need to choose a product that you want to create a trigger for. Right now you can only choose Rank Tracker. After that, you should choose the search engine and a parameter. Let's say I want to get notified when my keywords drop out of top 10 in SERPs. In this case I select number of keywords in top 10 since I decided to receive notifications every day my criterion is yesterday's value since I have only five keywords in top 10 I select less than five Then hit save to create a trigger. As you see, it's right on the Notifications Manager's dashboard. Thank you for watching this video. I tried to give you the full overview of Renactive's functionality, but if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to our customer support team. Have a productive day!